Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant A Plague Tale Requiem on the PlayStation 5, and we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, Hugo and Amicia were continuing to try and escape from the Count's Guards and the Beast. We managed to upgrade some of our gear, so we've now got the ability to upgrade our gear anywhere on a field. We no longer need to use one of those workbenches. Amicia is still very much struggling with that wound on her head that was given to us by the leader of the mercenaries, Arnold. So she keeps nearly passing out and vision keeps going blurry, so Hugo's trying to take care of her at the moment. She did eventually pass out and Hugo has learnt that he can now take control of the rats and get the rats to attack the guards for him. So we've now unlocked, unlocked a new ability where we can kill guards with rats. But I think there is a limit to the amount you can use it. Because if you keep doing it and you keep you know, using your mind with the rats, it can affect the macula and eventually it can take over your body. So I think you can only use it a certain amount. So it's not unlimited uses if I remember correctly. But uh, we also found a souvenir in this room over here. When you reach this room right here, if you climb up that ladder instead of going through this door, you'll find a souvenir in that room over there. And then um, Hugo, like the little adorable legend that he is, he will give Amicia a brand new coloured uh, band for her wound. But we're still making our way through the uh, caves at the moment and through the ruins, trying to escape from the uh, Count's guards. And the beast is in the area as well. So we've just got to be a little bit sneaky at the moment. And then we can start making our way to the island where hopefully Hugo will be cured. But let's get straight into things. Oh Lord, the size of this place. How can we... We will do it. Please don't die. Not yet. Soldiers, rats, careful. I'll watch over you. Hey, we found some pyrite. Sweet. If you don't remember what pyrite is, that's the stuff that allows us to basically pull out a bunch of, you know, like what Crazy Russian Hacker and other YouTubers have done, where they tie some string on steel wool and then they light it on fire and spin it around. It's, it's basically like that. And because it's bright, it scares the rats away. Uh, once again, Lucas taught us it, because Lucas is a legend. The fact that we don't have Lucas with us at the moment is, is detrimental to our safety. The rats are calling. They like you when I use them. That's why you must be cautious. Where are the rats? Oh, okay, should we... Okay, well just remember, you can't kill people that have fire. Oops. Okay, right, now let's uh, control the rats. Do I have to... Am I a bad guy? Keep your focus. I feel like I might be a bad guy. Nothing again. I think there's an archer in here, in there. Can I can I climb through windows? Oh, we can. Sweet. take down basically anyone that don't have a torch and then I, I think we can leave the rats somewhere and then we can use them again after yeah take that you bastards Man, there's so many rats. I like how it shows you where Lucas and uh, uh, Hugo and Amicia are as well. He's done. I showed them. Yes, sir. But be careful. Yes. Just don't 
make the same mistakes as me. <laughs> Don't make the same mistake as me, that's all. As, as Hugo proceeds to just munch on another person. <laughs> Well, well, um, Hugo wasn't munching on someone. That would be a bit creepy. If Hugo starts munching on people, I think we need to leave him behind. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Oh, man. I don't know if those rats are feasting properly or if there's going to be any stragglers that might kill me. As you saw in the previous video, if you watched it. And if you didn't watch it, what are you doing on this part? You can't skip parts. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I feel their skittery, dirty little feet, but they don't seem to be coming towards me. I hope we haven't left anything behind. It's probably a good place to sneak through over here. The workers are all dead. It's not your doing. I know, but it never stops. It's not going to stop, buddy. I mean, this is this game is set during the bubonic plague, which is the Black Death, and I've already said this in a playthrough already. I think a third of the world's population died. And that's only of the people that we know know that died. And I don't think they even really spoke about like any effects that might have happened in the United States, because any rats that managed to get over into the United States back then, or it wasn't the United States, just America, any rats that managed to get over there probably would have wiped out a load of the uh, Native Americans and stuff. So God knows, mate, the amount of people that died from this, it's ridiculous. But it's probably more than that. It's probably like half the world's population. Crazy. <laughs> It will stop. I'll heal you. Oh, you're a good boy. You're a good boy, uh, Hugo, looking after your sister. That's what you're supposed to do when you're a brother. You've got to look after your sister. Whether she's older than you or younger than you, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Who looked at me? Oh, over there. We got men down. Sweep the air. There are intruders in the area. Start looking. We've got company. Stay alert. Oh shit. Well, we've got a guard over there. We can knock we could take him out with a sl oh shit. There's a chest over there. Turn around, you bastard. Well, we might have to leg it. I heard someone breathe. We go through that door. Oh no. Can't believe we made it. There you are. Free for your defiance. Now you'll know the price of the beast. What? No. You're trapped. This is personal. You're mine now. Armored enemies are invulnerable to it. Oh, we've got a. We need to attack his back. Hey, I've got an idea. I don't know if this is going to work. We need. We need to. That's a bit rude. Did, did I, did I, have I took you, have I, have I took Danny's armor or not? Oh! Don't feel so 
You bastards! Alright, so if we... Well, I took down the beast. Obviously, I'm going to have to probably do it again now. If we uh, if we throw Tara at his, uh, his uh, thingy, it stuns him, and then you can whack the thing on his back. And then I guess we need to pull out a crossbow very quickly. Hopefully, we've already done it. I don't think so. We'll probably have to do it again now. Yep. Oh, I've got an idea. Now you know the fight of the beast. What? No. Set a fire around him and then take off his back. <laughs> I'm a genius. Alicia, you're all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go. Oh, don't leave yet. There's a bow. There's a crossbow bolt in there, Amicia, and a pot. Amicia? Amicia? No. It's bleeding a lot. Look, they're here! They're coming! I can't. You have to handle it yourself. Are you sure? Do it. Quick. God. Key control. You go. Doesn't sound like he is, to be honest. He don't sound like he's keeping control. See? Seizure, innit? Jesus. I did it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can make it. Oh, you? Oh. Get ready. Come on, little man. Chapter 7, Felons. You're awake. He saved you. He says he'll bring us to the island. He knows where it is, and he says it's called Lacuna. Wait. He will find a boat, too. What? No. Amicia. That's Arnold, isn't it? He's the one that smacked me on the bloody head, the leader of the mercenaries. And in our house we had a dog, but I didn't see him a lot. Oh, because you couldn't dog. get out. Yes. So I imagined I was playing with him. Huh. I see. 
Why are you talking to him, Hugo? Shouldn't you be getting the rats to eat him? I don't give a shit if he saved us. Where's the boat? Where is it? I hope it's big. That's what she said. It's not far. I'll free the horses. We'll take a safe route walking for the last part. Seagulls! <laughs> Just a quick check. May I? It's been two days, so... Good. You're fixed. Sort of. Just let it breathe from now on. <sighs> it's going to hurt from time to time. Just breathe and relax. Your voice doesn't help. Stop trying to be so tough. You might learn something. Fine. So tell me why you came back. Why you didn't just let me die. Tell me, why should I trust you? Why shouldn't I let the rats make one less problem of you? The Count's army is at war with us. The scum of Provence. Most of my men... My friends have been killed or ran away. It's just a matter of time before they get me. So you're running away? Yes. The noose is tight already, but you have something I don't. Rats. The safest way out of this mess for the most wanted man. I know where your island is. All you must do is keep me alive until we get there. Alicia, come! Come and see! I'm coming! Be very careful. This is a constant reminder that I should kill you. So, what have you found? You don't smell it. I smell horses and... Oh, oh, Lord, is it me? No. It smells like seaweed. Come on. Wait, we need to talk. Not now. Let's keep right there. Hugo, it's important. Man, Hugo never bloody listens, does he? With the amount of stuff that he's gone through, at this point, you would expect him to listen when Amicia tells him to do something. But, nah, of course he doesn't. Look, Amicia's talking to her audience at the moment. Shut up, Hugo. Man, if you're smelling like seaweed, Amicia, we need to get you a bath, mate. Throw you in the sea. Come Wash yourself Amicia. off. Yeah. Give me all your money. I hope you didn't tell him about your dream. Hugo, come back. I don't want to play. And I don't talk to chickens. <laughs> oh, is it that hard for you to be nice, you little... Oh, at least you look better. Are you going to call him a little shit then? Yeah, you are a chicken though. You lost the race, Amicia. You're a chicken forever now. I like how she was speaking to him then, saying that she hopes that he didn't tell Arnold about the dream and Hugo just completely blanked her. Oh, look at... Oh, look at that. Hugo, you didn't answer. Let's go. We're not here to enjoy the view. Tell me where we're going first. To get your boat, I know someone. Who? A smuggler. Discreet chip. Fast. What you need. Great. More felons. Jess, get used to it. This is your life now. So if you want to get to Lacuna after the mess you've made, it's that boat or a ten-mile fucking swim. I can't wait to get on the boat. Ah, you see that? That is the right attitude. That is the right attitude. <laughs> it's like Hugo doesn't even care that that's the man that smacked his sister square in the head and could have possibly have killed her. Hey, careful! Thank you. Fine. Man, Hugo, well, why don't you go piss off of Arnold then, you little traitor? Can't you wait for me? You're not right. 
Your sister feeds you well. I love eating. Hey, look down there! Stop going so damn fast! He's the one sprinting. Slow down, Shorty. We have wounded. <laughs> How considerate. <laughs> we have wounded. Man, he says it so sarcastically. I like how he called him Shorty. Yes, Shorty, slow down. We're trying to admire the view. Look at that water. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. no. There's so many. Is it a bird army? It looks like it. And I say you should sound the charge. Can I? Monsieur? If you want, just stay in view. Come on, soldier. Charge! Charge! <laughs> <laughs> if we had more like him in our ranks, we'd have pushed back the English a long time ago. What do you know of war? I was a knight back then, in Guienne. Oh. We're from Guienne. It was a waste. It was. Ah, oh, oh, oh. got something in common with him now. I can hear drums. I don't know if it's the music. Hey, did you see my charge? Yes. They won't come back soon. I could be a soldier. <laughs> no doubt. Oh, I don't think so. One day he'll be big enough to choose. Huh. We'll see. Okay, uh, I think we're supposed to be heading over there towards that boat. But before we do that, I think there might be a... Possibly a... a um, I don't know if it's a feather or something in this area. Or a flower. Looks quiet. Someone lives here. I don't think so. I would live here. Right in front of the sea. And there's a knife. Lovely. Just what we needed. Right, come on, Hugo. Oh man, look at all that bird shit. <laughs> hey, look at that. They're like, they're like bloody uh, sardines. It has to be a seabird. A seagull? Probably. And now it's yours. Here. I love seagulls. I don't. Don't not stealing little shits. <laughs> How did you get it? How did you even fit through that? Oh, well, I suppose it's big enough. Stop following me. You're not part of this. This is mine and Hugo's moment. We call them laughing gulls here. <laughs> what? <laughs> See? You're turning into one. Come, let's go back. <laughs> laughing gulls. Oh, for God's sake, man. If you was an alcoholic, you would love being in this game, wouldn't you? Here we are. Don't tell me that's your boat. Of course not. But it leads to it. See that pole? There's a rope on it. Hold the boat from there while I push on my side. You think you can do it? Not sure. I might break. <laughs> when you're ready. Ah, oh, so sassy. I'll help you, Amicia. But you're not you're not gonna help much by pulling that, Hugo. You're gonna literally get it. Ah. I think there's a. If we knock that down first. We can take the. Um, yeah, we could take the uh, rats over there to munch on the tuna. Go easy, all right? Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It just said that that bar fills up. It will stress out Hugo. So we've got to make sure we watch this bar and don't fill it up. Let's go then. They won't follow us, right? I don't know. How appetizing do you feel? 
Hmm. Hungry bastards. Um, no offense. <laughs> so this leads to your smugglers? Yes, it's a shortcut. There are rats in your shortcut, you know that? Um, yes, which means less soldiers. And we have the boy, no? Lord, I don't like this. Come on. Oh, all right. Oh dear. I can see some sticks up there. Uh oh. What? There are millions. Happy now? We're crossing anyway. Great. Don't be scared. Really? Hey, Shorty, they obey you. Just send them all into the sea. I can only control a few at a time. Oh, great. Uh. Well, I know I can light that. And I suppose we could... What's that stuff? You used it against my men. Alchemy. Secret recipe. I don't want a recipe. I just hope it holds. You'll see. I suppose... So we're going to get that stick, I guess, and then we're going to light it on that, and then we can head down there. I guess we're going that way. Um... I mean, I, I can use it. I think I can use a crossbow bolt on those boards. And if we set it on fire. I mean, it's a waste of a crossbow bolt, to be honest. But I think this works. Yeah, and then if we get some. I don't want a tar bolt. Get up! No! Understood. It's a bit rude. Let's have a look in this chest quickly and we'll grab a stick. Lovely. I think there's an upgrade you can get which allows you to hold more uh, more supplies in your bag. So when we get that, we'll be able to hold even more alcohol. Oh, no. <laughs> and we'll still end up sure. not needing that amount. All right, look. The caves keep going on over there. That's our path. So that's a shortcut to you? Yes, well, with those rats, I say we go back out. No, I'll lead the way. You follow and obey. As long as we make it out alive. So we need to get over to that side. So I guess we're going to be going under the, uh, under the water? Or we're going to come out, like, over there somewhere? I think we're going to come out over there somewhere, I guess. Yeah, because I think there might be. Yeah, there's a souvenir. When you get over there, uh, walk near that boat, because I think there's a souvenir there. I don't think we'll, we might reach it. Well, we won't reach it in this video. But, um, yeah. That tiny stick. Just follow. <laughs> Stop commenting on everything I do, Arnold. But, yeah, when you get to that boat over there, just in case uh, I don't make it, well, I won't make it there today. If, you, if you're on that section, walk up to the boat. There's a souvenir there. Can we leave Arnold behind? Stay close to me. We're going. I'm trusting you here. Hey, don't squeeze. It won't make me go any faster. Sorry. Really hard to relax right now. We've done this a lot. Well, I don't envy you. <laughs> here we are. Easy. That's the word I was searching for. You really don't <gasps> like rats. Nobody does, Shorty. What are you talking about? I love rats. Oh, oh no. What? What is that? It's a nest. Oh, don't tell me we're going in there. We are. We shouldn't. It's that or stay here. Why is it it doesn't use both resources? Sometimes it only uses one resource. Yeah, like that. It only used a bit of uh, a bit of um, alcohol. It didn't use any sulfur. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just strange. A cart. Your smugglers must have abandoned it. I really don't see why. Alright, uh, I'm going to end it now, Wolf More Vets. Let's move back a little bit. I'm going to end it here. Seems like a good enough place to end it. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf More Vets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Quite a lot of stuff happened today. We took down the beast. We got past the Count's men. Hugo went absolutely crazy and wiped everybody out with some rats. 
We then he then passed out and we had, and had a seizure and we had to uh, save him. Then Amicia practically passed out and then Arnold saved us. The guy who made her have an injury that caused her to pass out to begin with. <laughs> it's been all sorts of emotions in this video. Anyway, thanks for watching Wolf Wolf Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share and join the pack today.